The Fermi Paradox. Where is everybody? Since humanity began exploring the cosmos, a question has echoed in the minds of philosophers, scientists, and astronomy enthusiasts alike. If the universe is so vast and full of stars and planets, why haven't we encountered other forms of intelligent life? This reflection lies at the heart of what we now know as the Fermi Paradox, one of the most intriguing and perplexing questions of modern science. The paradox is named after Enrico Fermi, one of the greatest physicists of the 20th century, best known for his work in quantum mechanics and the development of the first nuclear reactor. During the lunch break in 1950, Fermi and some colleagues were discussing the possibility of extraterrestrial life. The debate centered on the apparent likelihood that, in such a vast and ancient universe, intelligent life should exist elsewhere. However, Fermi posed a question that was both simple and shocking. Where is everybody? Fermi meant that if the universe is teeming with technological civilizations like ours, why haven't we detected any signals, or found any proof of their existence? Why haven't they visited or contacted us? This apparent conflict between the mathematical probability of extraterrestrial life and the complete lack of tangible evidence constitutes what we now call the Fermi Paradox. To address the Fermi Paradox, another famous scientist, Frank Drake, developed in 1961 an equation that attempted to estimate the number of extraterrestrial civilizations in our galaxy with which we might make contact. The Drake equation is a probabilistic formula that takes into account several variables, including 1. The rate of star formation in the Milky Way. 2. The fraction of those stars that have planets. 3. The number of planets that could potentially support life. 4. The probability that life actually emerges. 5. The probability that life evolves into intelligent forms. 6. The time during which a technological civilization can communicate or be detected. Even with moderate assumptions, the Drake equation suggests that many technologically advanced civilizations should exist in the Milky Way. However, the cosmic silence we experience forces us to confront an apparently contradictory reality. Despite billions of stars and potentially habitable planets, we have no evidence of other intelligent life forms. Why? Over the years, many scientists, philosophers, and science fiction writers have proposed numerous solutions to explain the Fermi paradox. Some of these theories are encouraging and optimistic, while others paint a decidedly more unsettling picture. Let's explore some of the most relevant. One of the simplest explanations is that intelligent life is an extremely rare phenomenon. Even though the universe is vast and rich with stars and planets, the events that led to the emergence of life on Earth and, later, the development of a technological civilization like ours, may be exceptionally improbable. The combination of environmental, chemical, and biological factors necessary for life might not be as common as once thought. Perhaps the emergence of life is an incredibly rare event, and our civilization could be one of the few, or even the only one, to have reached this level of complexity. Another hypothesis, perhaps the most disturbing, is that of the Great Filter. According to this theory, there is an extremely difficult step in the evolutionary trajectory of a civilization that prevents most life forms from reaching an advanced technological level. This filter could be located at any stage of evolution. It could be the difficulty of life emerging from organic compounds. It could relate to transition from unicellular organisms to complex life forms. Or, worse still, the filter could be in our future. Perhaps every technological civilization tends to destroy itself before it can expand into space. Nuclear wars, uncontrolled climate change, or dangerous technologies could be insurmountable barriers that lead to the self-destruction of all advanced civilizations. If the Great Filter is still ahead of us, this would mean that our future could be extremely uncertain, and that reaching the technological maturity necessary for space exploration could be an almost impossible milestone to overcome. Another possible solution is that extraterrestrial civilizations exist but choose not to communicate with us. They may have developed communication technologies that we are unable to detect, or they may have adopted a policy of non-interference with less advanced civilizations, similar to the concept of the Prime Directive in the Star Trek series. Perhaps there is some sort of galactic ethical code 
that prevents advanced civilizations from influencing the evolution of other species until they reach a certain technological or social level. In this view, we could be observed from afar, without the more advanced civilizations directly interfering with us. Another crucial factor might be the vastness of space. The distances between stars are incredibly immense. Even if an alien civilization existed, interstellar travel might be prohibitive due to the immense distances and the time required to traverse them. For example, the nearest star to the Sun, Proxima Centauri, is over four light years away. Even with extremely advanced technology, it could take thousands of years to reach other stars, making interstellar travel and communication impractical. Moreover, not only is space vast, but time plays a fundamental role. The universe is about 13.8 billion years old, and civilizations could appear and disappear in relatively short periods of time compared to the overall age of the cosmos. This means that there might have been an advanced alien civilization in the Milky Way millions of years ago, but it could have gone extinct before we were advanced enough to detect it. Another worrying scenario is that many civilizations may develop advanced technologies but end up self-destructing before they can colonize space. This hypothesis suggests that technological development might inevitably lead to disasters, nuclear wars, genetically engineered pandemics, or even climate catastrophes caused by industrialization. If this were true, it might explain why we haven't found other civilizations. The mortality rate of technological civilizations could be extremely high, and few, if any, manage to survive long enough to expand beyond their solar system. Some theorists propose that we have already been visited by extraterrestrial civilizations but that they have chosen to remain hidden or only interact with us indirectly. This hypothesis underpins many theories about UFOs and alien encounters. According to this view, there may exist a sort of galactic zoo, where Earth is observed without direct interference. Despite the silence we experience so far, the search for extraterrestrial life is in full swing. Projects like SETI, Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, continue to monitor the sky for radio signals from other civilizations. Moreover, advances in space technology, such as the James Webb Telescope, could provide us with more detailed data on exoplanets and the atmospheres of distant worlds, improving our chances of finding signs of life. The Fermi Paradox remains one of the most profound questions of modern science pushing us to reflect not only on our position in the universe but also on the fate of advanced civilizations. Where is everybody? The answer might be more complex than we imagine, and perhaps one day the discovery of extraterrestrial life will definitively solve this enigma.